Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today is a special day because today we're reacting to 10 things Devin Brooker can live it out. Very excited to see Devin's 10 essentials. So let me know down in the comments what you think about this type of video, if you liked it, if you don't like it, and if you want to see more. And yeah guys, let's go. I think it's all French. The Labo is the laboratory in French. I actually found out today. What's up GQ? It's Devin Booker here, and here are my 10 essentials. Perfect. Passport. When I was 12 years old, I got the... I never used my passport. In Europe, you mostly travel with your ID. You only need it if you want to fly, like, uh, in another... to another continent. No, I haven't been much. I've just been to America one time and yeah, just in Europe for the most part and yeah, used my passport one time. So I'm not one of those passport dudes. This is my dad in Italy. He played basketball over there. And once I got to Italy, I loved it so much and that's where my love for traveling came. Every summer, yeah, Italy is nice. Europe is nice. To a different country. My favorite stamp I have in my passport, uh, I'd say my China visa. You know, they take over a whole page for it. I get excited for the stamp, so every time I get it. China must be nice. Like the Great Wall of China has to be nice to see, no? Has to be. The stamp, you know, I always look back and think of all the past memories I have in different countries. Bicycle playing cards. Playing cards? Mm, he's playing cards and for sure he's spending some amount of money, no? Because we did that on our team, we played poker and yeah, sometimes we, we, we were betting like for 10, 20, yeah, 10, 20, 20 bucks around that. But they for sure like, what do you think? 1K? Blue or red, it's possible. That's your guys' choice. I grew up playing cards. Uh, spades was my game initially um, until I got to the NBA and then I learned the game of Bure. So that, that's my, my new go-to game. Uh, we play on the planes, I play in the hotel room. My rookie year, we had PJ Tucker, Jared Dudley, Eric Bledsoe. Our Bure squad, we call it the Boo Crew. Those are some of the heated, more intense games for sure. More intense, uh, more crew, expensive. I'll watch a game on television and turn the TV volume off and just listen to music. I'm listening to music around the clock. Do you do that? Watching TV, watching games without the in-game sound? And you're listening to music instead? I'm not doing that. If I'm watching TV, I'm watching TV and I need the in-game sound or the TV sound on. That's... Yeah. It that's was a bit cool, strange man. to me. Uh, he told me two weeks prior um, that he was gonna do it. But I didn't know it was gonna be in two weeks. I thought it was gonna be later down the line. So I ended up hearing Travis's album, which was one of my favorite albums also, Astro World. And the song of the summer, my name was mentioned, so it was dope. It's a sick album and sick commode. It's a sick song. It's really sick. <laughs> because yeah, it's called sick commode. That song is crazy. Actually, the point of this wasn't One of my line. favorite songs. It was the drop stopper right here. I went to Napa for the first time. What? He has a signature logo on that? Uh, haven't seen better signature logos, but that one is really cool. laying all over the place. Decent. I wasn't familiar with them at the time. And I don't know, it's just the little things, man. It's, I'll show you how, how it works. It just gets me excited, I don't know. So just half, half like this. What, you can it's fold that? It's called the drop stopper. So when you pour wine and drips down all the time this helps all of that that's how good the pour is oh. do they drink that now i gotta taste it now i'm sorry mm -hmm. i keep them on the road with me i've introduced it to all my friends everybody's like what's that put it in the bottle i show them um, and i got to the point where i finally made custom ones we stay on the road, so we're out at dinner a lot. That's nice, man. A lot of nice places where you can get pretty good bottles, so 
know, there's a lot of guys around the league that we talk we talk about wine now, and we'll go out to dinner and, and do do a couple bottles. Everybody will bring their own bottle, and you know, we just have yeah, a doing a couple of bottles. But you're playing nice, so keep drinking. Some notebook slash even as slash a idea slash. A little bit Even of his signature logo on his journal. What? And if somebody went through here and tried to read it, I don't think you guys could read it because, in my own language, any thought I had, any saying that some. My own language? Bro, you're talking English. What? What? Language? How? I want to see the journal. How does he. What does he write in there? I will say that will stick in my head. I'll just write it down and it's never in no certain order. It's never by day. It's just, it's an open book, really. You can just write everything and, you know, looking back on it, you know, some of my best ideas are right here on pen and paper. And some about writing it, you know, helps me remember it and, you know, actually execute what I'm trying to do. The Holy Grails. The Holy Grails. the Nike Air Force One Moss Point Edition. And as you can see, They're meant to be worn. Those look sick, right? A uh, little rundown. Moss Point is actually my high school, Moss Point, Mississippi. So uh, me and Nike did a collaboration on this. I think when Odell was up here, he actually showed these. Very special to me, man. Uh, Air Force One was one of my favorite shoes. Still is today. Air Force One's classic. Everyone has to own a pair. Um, and when I had the chance to you know, represent my hometown of Moss Point, Mississippi in a shoe. You know, I, I want to do something special for it. So a lot of hidden messages on here uh, that people don't know about. That's my birthday on here with the creation ID. It also says bet five. All my friends when we were in school, we used to be in the gym betting five dollar shots the whole time. So that was our thing. On the back on the heel, uh, it says yes ma'am, no sir. When I moved from Michigan to Mississippi, That was a big transition for me, which is selling hospitality and using your manners and respecting your elders. So, you know, I had to add that. It's right there on the heel in silver. So you can't miss it. So go yard. Those shoes are nice. How much do they go for? They retailed for 100. Mm, my size for 200 bucks. Maybe I do pick them up for Christmas because baby blue is always nice and I don't like it on this picture though, but, but in the video they looked sick, man. On the back, back on the heel, uh, says yes ma'am, no sir. Do you like them? Let me know down in the comments what you think about those shoes. Would you pick them up? Because I'm thinking about that. Hmm. But maybe. The messenger of briefcase. You know, for traveling. Hmm, Goyard is a sick brand. And yeah, and your team colors. Your franchise player of the, of the team. That's a nice choice. I will, I will have the whole set of Goyard, man. The shoulder bags, the backpack. On the planes, this is the perfect size I for me. Don't like for a this bag, trip, especially, a but trip. yeah, I'll let the shoulder bag, back, 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 the duffel bag. Ooh. Uh, here we are with now the thick Patek Paddock 5711 rose gold. 7-Eleven. Uh, my favorite time piece for sure. My dad grew up collecting watches. And I used to always see you know, how much he valued them and cared about them, and he usually let me wear them a couple times. So I was like, I how much is this watch? Bro, is this watch, is this watch a hundred K? Whenever I'm in that position where I can get my own watches, it's gonna be it, so. This watch right here, I feel, is, is very timeless and simple. I compare it to like a presidential Roly. You know, I feel like it's Yeah, it's, it's timeless, you can wear it at all time. Now, what is that? Fragrance. I was first introduced to the Labo, actually when I was staying in New York at a hotel called The Edition. And this is before they had a store. It was like the, the house fragrances, like all the lotions, the body washes, all the Labo. So every time I'd stay there, I'd call down and say I ran out just to stack up on it and take it home. The lotion's so powerful. Yeah, just to stick up and steal them, Devin, huh? With it. Ah, headphones with wires? 
Come on, you use AirPods, bro. Couple wired headphones. You see, I keep the wire. You gotta keep the wire on there. I have AirPods. I've had like five pair. I've lost them all, but I never. You lost five pairs of AirPods? Who lose these? Probably because they never get stolen. Um, you don't lose. Okay, yeah, you can lose AirPods because they get stolen. Yeah, I see that because you're switching up. Sometimes your friends are taking yours. I can see that, but you lost five pairs. That's crazy. I never lose those. I lose those wire ones because they fall out the of the pocket. And yeah, this sounds better on the AirPods. So nobody wants them, but I love the cord. Yeah, the cord is retro. I got. But yeah, this has been some nice essentials, nice watch, nice things. Yeah. Nice shoes, yeah. Let me know down in the comments what you think about those shoes, if you will buy them. What do you think about it? Do you like them? Do you, do you like them? Do you like them? Do you like them not? And yeah, let me also know down in the comments if you like this kind of video, if you want to see more um, reaction of um, essentials from the NBA players. So yeah, leave me a like if you liked the video. Consider subscribing for more NBA content. See you in the next one, guys. Have a nice time, have a good day, stay healthy, stay strong, peace guys.